Hey you guys, it's Melanie and this is our trip to Wildwood, New Jersey. Alrighty guys, this is our vlog and this is the first time we've ever been to Wildwood, New Jersey. We went to Wildwood Crest and Wildwood um, and we went to the boardwalk, we went to the beach, we went to a bunch of different restaurants, things like that. I just want to record over real quickly to tell you guys, look at this cute little face. This is a vlog, so it's just, you know, our everyday life. But we're going to insert little, like, tips and tricks and what we thought was worth it and what we thought wasn't worth it. And just different things like that in case you guys are planning, um, you know, a vacation there. It is very family oriented. We went before the season, so not everything was up and running. But we still had a blast. P.S. This is the longest walk to the beach. The hotel to the beach was really long. It was like the longest compared to any beach we've ever, we have ever been to. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Any suggestions on further traveling, please also let me know because we love to travel. Check out our other traveling videos down below. Also, what is floating in the water behind us? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Here is our vlog of Wildwood and Wildwood Crest, New Jersey. Hi, sis. This is actually us eating lunch at the Port Royal Hotel. This is their restaurant inside Ocean View. Amazing. That hotel is a little more pricey, but it was our favorite hotel there. We actually got it on Groupon, so we paid half price for our room. Yeah. Kind of chunky, Mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Mm. Look at it. It's green in the mouth, Mom. Alright, this is a Port Royal Hotel. Look at the view. This is like the longest beach in the whole entire planet. And then there's their vest. And then there's the pool. This balcony and this furniture is actually really nice, especially compared to a lot of the other places around. Here is an outside look of the hotel. It is oceanfront. We were lucky enough to have an ocean view room. It was amazing. And here is the really awesome crazy. front room that's really of the cool hotel. Lamp. Hey, sister. This is such a cute lamp. Are there treasures? It's, I love the outside too though. Hold on, mommy's just showing them the outside of the hotel. So instead of having a key card, these are actual keys, which is I think pretty neat. So here is, this is such a nice hotel you guys. And there's like a little closet with like a mirror. Hello. Beautiful. And then here's the bathroom. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I like this a lot. Hotel had an awesome pool. Look at my daughter. This is her first time in the water in a pool, and it was kind of hilarious. She was not having it at first, but it was fun actually. She ended up loving it. But they had a really great um, baby pool and a really great swimming pool, um, and they were extremely clean and really kind of like high end. So I was all about that life. Unfortunately, it was a little bit chilly for us that day, um, so we couldn't stay in too long because once you hit the water and it got a little bit windy, I felt like it was too cold for my kids because they're so young. But if you're there in a regular season, I think it would be totally fun and totally perfect. I do want to mention we stayed at two different hotels. You will see the other. This is hilarious. My husband trying to turn off the GoPro for the first time. Anyway, you'll see the other hotel later. I am not sponsored by either hotel. 
These are my legit opinions. And then this is us at the beach. Two things about this beach. One, it was not crowded at all in May, which is amazing. I heard it gets more crowded. And B, because it's so long, you can sit back further on the beach. And you don't necessarily have to worry about your kids, like, getting up and, like, running into the water, which I really liked. You chilly today, Logan? A little bit windy today. Logan, you're silly. Are you gonna shovel with Sissy? Too tired? He's <laughs> deserting. Say hi. Say hi, sis. Hey, Princess Mama. Hey, honey. Oh my goodness. You Joey's? You want a jacket? Before I get into, this is our hotel, by the way. Both hotels had a ton of different coupons and books on Wildwood and Wildwood Crest. If you've never been to the beach before or you just don't know this, I'm sure you probably do if you've been. Almost every single beach we've been to across the whole entire East Coast, every hotel is going to have something like this. And grocery stores will too. It'll have information on places to go, things to see, and a ton of coupons. We found a bunch of coupons for the boardwalk. So anyway, here are the clips of our boardwalk experience and we love this boardwalk a whole bunch. <laughs> Babies can't handle it. Hey girly. a ton of arcades on this boardwalk my son had so much fun it's actually not that expensive at all and the prizes that you win are actually pretty freaking cool and you'll see that in a minute like things that they won i also want to say that we ended up doing this so long that the pier was shut down so we did not get to ride any rides and we were a little bit disappointed but it was because it was off season and we did not realize that the pier closes way early. So if you're there on off season, check the piers to see if they're gonna be open if you're interested in the riding, riding the rides. I really wish we would have realized that. But we had a blast in the arcade, so totally worth it. Oh yeah, this is what he won, a Minecraft ax and he chased the seagulls with it. Oh, Sorry, on. seagulls. Yep. What color is it? What color is it? Good job. <laughs> she wants those hands up. Ooh. Yum, oh. eat. My turn, my turn. They have spoon. You want to go grab one? I'll get spoons. You have some. Good job. Can you hand Sissy a shovel? There's a little one for Sissy, bud. <laughs> she found a rock, or you found a rock? Yeah. Good job, be careful. There's another shovel in here, right here. There's a shovel in, in, that, in the green and pink thing right here. Don't eat it, sis. Yeah, you wanna get Sissy a shovel? So we got takeout because we were like running late and we wanted to come back to the hotel. This is a lobster tail, crab cakes, and stuffed mushroom. And then this is crab chowder, which sounds delicious. This is the restaurant where we got dinner. It was amazing. It's supposed to have a really nice inside, especially even for kids, like decorated. But we were tired and they were closing, so I just ordered some takeout. And we sat down in our hotel room and it was delicious. So good. This is where we ate breakfast on the boardwalk.
Give mommy kisses. Oh, that's cool, buddy. You want some syrup? No. Okay, so the second hotel that we stayed at was called Aqua Beach. We stayed there for one night, the first night that we got there because the resort we stayed at was not available that night. So the first night we stayed here, it was not too bad, but it was not my favorite, which you will see why. Are you so excited? No pictures, Mom. No pictures. The what? Look, it's a playhouse. Is it a, do you think it looks like a playhouse, that hotel? The Bel Air Theater yeah, kind of looks like one. I want to go to my house. Oh my God. Dad, I can see the water. <laughs> so here's the view. I'm trying to be quiet because it is nighttime. Um, and those are the hotels across the street and it's like it's all like a big breezeway it's kind of chilly right now actually I'm not a huge fan of the breezeways like from like carrying the kids you guys know anyway there's a nice pool down there I think it's like way too cold right now though and there is a hot tub so hi we went to Sesame Street today if you're wondering and she's eating chocolate because you know, that's what kids do at midnight when they're up at hotels Anyway, the parking situation here is absurd. Solely for that reason, I will never ever book a hotel here again. I have a like a mid-sized, this is mid-sized, right? So I have an Impala. Full size. New, huh? Full size. Okay, I have a full size sedan. I have a new Impala. Hold on one second. Be careful. Be careful. She's like not getting her belt. Anyway, I have an Impala and trying to park it in these little parking spaces where like it, it's trying to get the kids out there was like no room in between cars like there's just it was no the hotel itself was pretty nice but if water pressure is important to you they had no water pressure i was so upset did you do that yeah with Oops. chocolate with chef. oh my goodness <laughs> i'm gonna get the same hand i see your hand you could go too are you gonna go to the beach tomorrow are you going to the beach tomorrow? Are you going to the beach tomorrow? water. Take note of how easily my son could possibly get out of the room. That kind of thing always makes me nervous. I like when the locks are higher and the chair was right there, which means he could have like easily gotten out if he really wanted to. So I definitely created a barricade before we went to sleep because I don't think he would sneak out without me, but it just made me nervous. Where's he coming? He's going to the car. He's going to the car. Give brother kisses. Say, wake up, brother. Wake up, we're going to go to the beach. Say, wake up, big guy. Brother, see, bees? Where'd dad dad go? You go to the car? Bye, dad. Bye, dad dad. He's coming back. He just took our stuff to the car. You ready to go to the beach? There's daylight. I think that the ocean's behind us. This might be better for Ocean View. I'm just not a huge fan of like the doorway or the parking. Can you guys see the parking? Can you guys see how tight that is? Okay. But the pool looks really nice, but we're going to our resort right now. We just had to have a hotel for tonight. So um, we're gonna go get breakfast. Let's see how this goes. We are leaving the beach. Look at that bruise where she hit her head. We're leaving the beach. On our way to Philadelphia, and I don't think, I don't know if I got any pictures of her in her little outfit, so I want to do an OOTD in your dope party. Um, I just think it really matched well. My husband actually pieced this together. These really super cute shorts are from Children's Place. This cute button-up tank top that you can't see too well, actually, is from um, Carter's. It came in a three-pack. And then this gray Old Navy hoodie, it's brand new, and it says Old Navy, this cute little, like, minty color. It's obviously from Old Navy. Isn't it super cute how it all matches together? Super cute, baby. And then Logan's just in, like, his plain colored t-shirt. And we are headed to Philadelphia from Jersey. That's it, guys. If you have any awesome suggestions for traveling, please let us know in the comments below. We love to stop different places. Um, if you have any questions, of course, let us know. If you're interested in our 
vlog from Philadelphia and Hershey World, which is where we stopped on the way home. I will link those below. We also went to Sesame Place, which was freaking awesome before we went to Wildwood. And I'll link it below in just all of my travel videos, you guys. I love traveling. Please stay. Please subscribe. We have DIYs, mommy stuff, you know what I mean, and traveling videos every single week. Thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me. Bye, all love